Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that are new here, thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Spencer Thomas, and I currently own and operate Spencer's Animal Encounters, a wildlife education and outreach program in Western New York. The topic of today's video is so cute, and this particular species of animal is really rare in the US. But before we get started, I just wanna say, I upload new videos every week, and they're all about different topics related to animals, conservation, and even responsible pet ownership. So if you enjoy this video, please give it a like, please go over to my channel and hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell so you don't miss a single upload. You can also follow me on my other social media platforms, such as Instagram and Facebook, as well as TikTok at Spencer's Animal Encounters. A quick aside before I get into the video. So recently I have downloaded TikTok and I've become obsessed. My sister got me into it and I feel like I, like a lot of other people, download TikTok and then just, you know, just to see what it's about, just to give it a try. And then hours later, you have fallen down a rabbit hole of lip sync videos and odd music challenges. Anyway, with that, let's get started with the topic of today's video in another episode of Spencer's Species Spotlight. So I hope you have been enjoying the video so far. I didn't want to hold my Duprasi because I wanted them to be able to run around and show off some really cool natural behaviors. So currently I have this pair in a 20 gallon long tank. The tank has a lot of aspen bedding as well as some hay. There is a cork bark tube that you saw previously, this wheel, that metal bowl in that back corner is a dust bath filled with uh, chinchilla dust. You can also use play sand. They do have that cork bark log hide as well as this little cardboard hide. 
In the center is their food dish. Now I feed them a mix of very high protein items. These guys are from Africa and they would live in a sandy, rocky desert area uh, where they would eat a lot of insects and some small grass seeds. I give them a high protein diet made for hamsters and gerbils, a pelleted diet. They also get a high protein lab diet. It's a rodent block made by Missouri, as well as a mixture of some seeds. They get a millet seed with egg food in it as it is higher in protein. They get safflower seeds and sunflower seeds. They also get a variety of live feeder insects, such as moths, waxworms, mealworms, and crickets and roaches. Like I said, this high protein is very, very important. They have a small water bottle as well as a water dish. Although these guys don't drink a lot of water because there's not a lot of standing water in their environment. This is my female. Um, I'm trying really hard to show you that she does take sunflower seeds from my hand. Part of the reason that these animals are such interesting and fun to keep is that they're naturally very docile and very unafraid of humans. So like I said, Duprasi come from Africa in the hot, rocky, sandy, deserty areas. These guys are not very common in the US and it's very, very important to breed them in captivity so that we can have genetically diverse captive populations. That's very helpful across a variety of species. These guys aren't like Mongolian gerbils that you would typically see in pet stores. They're very difficult to breed as females will usually kill the males. They can become territorial and aggressive. That is why these guys are currently in this 20 gallon tank. It's a smaller tank so that I can keep an eye on everyone and make sure that there's no fighting and particularly no death. Like I said, there's not many of these guys in the US, so we wanna make sure that nothing happens to ours. So right here, I'm still trying to get a shot of my female eating. This is one of my males. I currently have two males that are brothers that came from a captive breeder in the US. I will soon be swapping out one of the males for an unrelated male, hopefully ending up with two unrelated pairs. That way you can create more unrelated pairs from there and then further improve the genetic diversity and increase the captive population so just like any other hamster or gerbil or a mouse or small animal, these guys love to run. And it's very important that you give them a wheel to exercise. Right here, I'm trying to, again, see if she will take a sunflower seed from my hand. Like I said, these guys are very friendly and very docile. Rodents are really, really active, so they do spend a lot of time running. So with that, I'm going to let you guys enjoy some more of my very cute Duprasi, and I will catch up with you more towards the end of the video.